Hi, Gene here with today's thought. The obvious thought or subject for today would be the Trump indictment, which happened, well, it hasn't officially happened yet. He's supposed to, Trump is supposed to appear in court next Tuesday, but, the, well, actually the day after you're seeing this video. So by then, I mean, even already so much has been said about it that I really don't know what I can add uh, to it. I'll just give you a couple of thoughts because, uh, well, it's obviously political, put it that way. No president, well, we have the, the example of Hillary Clinton, for for instance, willfully destroying classified documents that she was keeping on a server in her bathroom. I could go on and on. The, the disparate treatment is so obvious, but also, last time I heard, there were 365 days in the, in the year, except for a leap year, 366. Uh, this is not a leap year. So, uh, well, here, look at this headline. Department of Justice declares war on 2024 with Trump indictment hours after Biden bribery news. And that's what's the, uh, it's important here. The, this is a, a war on 2024. It's just the latest attempt to um, either keep Trump from getting the nomination or to damage him so severely that he can't possibly win because this is, well, again, the timing, that is an important thing to me, 365 days in the year, and this was the day, or that was the day they picked to indict him uh, or to leak the news. That's the whole thing. All of this confidentiality that's supposed to, anything that's damaged, if it's favorable to Clinton, they, they suppress it for literally for years, uh, this uh, this Form 1023, FD23, that the has existed all the way back. It, it has um, conversations on it with, with the confidential human source and the person who, so it's not hearsay. Uh, Jamie Raskin, the um, the ranking member, the Democratic ranking member on the Oversight Committee says, well, it's all hearsay. No, it's not hearsay, not hearsay. It's direct a direct conversation between uh, uh, an officer of uh, Burisma, this is in Ukraine, who said that he paid, told the human source that he paid Joe Biden $5 million and Hunter Biden another $5 million. So, um, for a policy change, which presumably was to fire the prosecutor uh, that was exam that was um, that was uh, investigating Burisma, and well, Biden is on tape. Uh, I'm not gonna. I could, but well, I, I want to keep this short. You can find it on the internet. It's very easy of Biden boasting that he did it, and, and I may go back to it in a later time. But right now, it, it's not the the Biden case I want to talk about. It's just a disparity of uh, of treatment that the um, that everything is for uh, hurting that could hurt Biden is buried. Anything that could hurt Trump, even if it's just a rumor, it gets leaked to the press right away. We have a very we have a, a compromised, corrupt FBI, unfortunately, and this is the latest example in the Justice Department under. Um, uh, forget the, the, the Nixon administration. This is the most politicized. Uh, Justice Department I've seen in my life, to be honest. And the um, so that you have the obvious disparity, but again, it keeps coming back to, to the timing that this was the, the House was uh, Oversight Committee was had to pull teeth, fight tooth and nail, not to get the document, the FDE 1023, but just to look at it. And at first, uh, well, you can go look at it in secret at the FBI headquarters, just the chairman and the ranking member. Then the chairman and the ranking member could look at it, uh, you know, in a secure facility in the house, the basement of the house. But... Um, Finally, the um, the committee got to see, the entire committee got to see, Democrats and Republicans got to see the document and get a briefing, and I think a couple other, do and a couple of other documents, two or three beyond that, and when did this happen? It happened the very day of, that this uh, indictment got leaked, not announced, it would be officially announced when he's uh, arraigned, when he appears in court, Trump appears in court Tuesday, so um the the 
only good news I could uh, add to this is the, the length of the trial, if it's fair, and that's an, another thing, investigating Hunter Biden for literally for years, for four years, and special counsel appointed, I think back in March, to investigate Trump, and here only a few months later, bang, a, a, an indictment is, is coming very fast. So we'll have to uh, hope that justice is going to be served because if it follows the ordinary course, the trial, if there is to be one, will not occur until after the 2024 election. And if Trump wins that, then he can just, uh, well, he'll, he'll control the Justice Department. He'll just, he can just squash, you know, cancel the whole investigation, fire uh, whoever he has to fire, a uh, special prosecutor, but a uh, special uh, counsel, excuse me. But, um, it, you know, and ultimately, if he has to, he can just pardon himself. He can just give himself a pardon. But the important thing is that this trial should happen after the election. But the impeachment of Joe Biden for what increasingly looks like definite evidence, definite indication of, uh, and perhaps even proof of, uh, of bribery, which is specifically mentioned as an impeachable uh, offense, treason, bribery, or high crimes and disameters. So bribery is the one you can argue about what um, constitutes a high uh, crime and misdemeanor, but bribery, it's right there. Bribery, it's right in there in the, as an impeachable offense. And the, if it happens, it could happen during the election. Well, Biden is hiding in his basement uh, or wh whatever he's going to do. But and can you imagine the debate? The debate uh, between Trump and Biden, if um, Biden is being impeached at the time of the, the debate. So that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. If you could subscribe, that would really be great. But in any case, come back again. I'd love to see all of you again. Oh, and feel free to share this vlog with anybody you think would enjoy it or be helped by it. And until I see you all next time, bye.